can American athletes really safely compete in Japan? And why is the State Department warning Americans not to travel to Japan, especially when the Olympics are just two months away? Well, we're hearing from uh, authorities in Japan that the Olympics didn't have anything to do with this decision. The U.S. has been warning people more about the risk from coronavirus in various different countries. And Japan was not originally on the list. The country had done a very good job of keeping coronavirus under control. And it's just as they went back and, and looked at it, and we've had this recent surge of cases in Japan. So that's why we're seeing that that warning now. It's not specific to the Olympics, saying don't go to the Olympics. It's just alerting Americans that there is a lot of virus circulating currently in Japan and that they are taking a risk if they go there. The question of whether athletes can do that safely, of course, depends on their individual circumstances. If they've been vaccinated, which is not required for the Olympics, but many athletes are getting vaccinated, that would certainly protect them, as well as doing things like wearing a mask and keeping their distance and making sure that they stay very close to those testing procedures. So it will be possible, but it's going to be interesting to see how it turns out. What's the latest here in, in terms of possibly allowing or not allowing spectators to the games? Has there been any update on that front, Michelle? We are expecting a decision on that here just in the next couple of days or maybe a week or two away. The they have said no foreign spectators, but of course people locally were expecting to be able to, to come. And of course when you're competing, you want to have spectators there beyond the television cameras. So the decision there has not come given the fact that there is such a big outbreak occurring and it's not under control at this point. It would be it would be a very hard decision to make at this point when we're starting when we're still seeing high numbers of cases to decide to go forward with that. But they could also certainly push it off for a while. We are seeing vaccinations increase in Japan, and we're expecting that to get better, although still very, very low levels, below 4%, and focused mainly on the elderly population. So we're just going to have to see what, how that turns out.